Hello, welcome to part two, Essential Graphics, Creating Titles, Templates, and Premiere Pro 2017. And today, this is what we're going to be creating. And also, let me show you what else we're going to be creating. As you see, everything is created in Premiere. Make sure to watch the part one, where we show how to export or save in a local drive. And then, you know, you can create also the folder library as your favorite folder and also how to import in Premiere to reuse. So just make sure to watch the last video we uploaded to YouTube. And so let me jump into my project. You know, I, I already created this grid background. As you know, we don't have in Premiere as we have in Photoshop or After Effects. So make sure to check how did I create this and a video from last night on YouTube. And also the link will be down in the description. So let me go and pick the rectangle tool, shape, shape tool, of course. And we're going to just draw a rectangle. So let me see, maybe right there. And right click, rename, and I'm going to say black. And also we're going to duplicate this, right click and duplicate. And also rename it and I'm going to say red. And also we need to change the color to a nice red, maybe. And make sure to select the selection tool or move tool. And we're going to move the anchor point out to the middle, maybe. And then we're going to play with the uh, scale. So let me go at the zero. And then we need to extend out this, maybe. And also, may, let me go and see. Make sure the red uh, shape is selected. Let me close this. Go and drop down this uh, transform. As you know, we have a position X and Y scale rotation of passer and anchor point so let me uncheck the uniform scale and we're gonna play with the scale of course horizontal scale let me go zero maybe no no let me add a keyframe first go one second long and then we need to go zero pixels and see what we have this is what we have so what else we need to do is make sure select the keyframes right click go to our bezier and let me open this window let me go drop this down and so we're gonna make sure select it and we're gonna play maybe with the graphic you know it's a little okay so let me go and see what we have let me actually hit enter to render nice this is what we have so make sure you see okay let me go and duplicate this two more times so let me right click duplicate right click duplicate and we're going to rename this in the middle we're going to rename as a blue or whatever you want okay and also we're going to change the color a nice color i like is this kind of blue or you can have your own color and the way to have the effect that we have in here you see is let me go back to my project and see basically Actually, I don't see anything. The way to have this, let me close this in the effect control. Let me close all of them. Make sure to have first the red, second the blue, and the third the red again. So let me go select the blue, drop this down. Make sure, you know, just actually let me see. Maybe okay. And then just move the keyframes maybe right there. And also we need to go and have this red as well. So we need to move the keyframes. Let me just select and just move a little bit right there. If we play, let me hit enter. Nice. You see, that's the way I create. Cool. So the last we need to animate the black shape, of course. Let me go to my essential graphic panel. Make sure select on layer, of course, on timeline. Select the black and what else we need to just move, you know, the same. The anchor point, make sure it's in the center. Okay. In this case, we need to go maybe not at the zero frame, maybe right there. All right. So it's uh, 15 frames. Okay, so let's play with the scale, of course. So let me go to my effect control and transform. And we're going to just uncheck uniform scale. And also we need to say, you know, I need zero pixels. Uh, you know, make sure add a keyframe. Go to one second long. And add another keyframe and go all the way up to 100 pixels. And let's see what we have is this. Okay, I think some little bit late, maybe right there, actually. 
yep and then select the keyframes right click in our bezier and also we need to smooth the animation so we just make select it and you know go in here and the same thing we need to play right here okay let me close and hit enter to see the animation nice love it i love it and the last thing is added text so let me go and create a text as i said last night just pick the text tool let's say nero studio and let me go move this also we need we might need to go 50 pixels bigger and what else we need to change maybe this let me go and have a nice you know let me just select this and have a thinner done and this you have regular as you see make sure if you want the same uh font make sure to check on google just look on google you will have this for free called roboto okay and see what we need to do and here is maybe you know animate this so what we're going to do is animate the position x position of course so let me go to my effect control make sure the uh, text is selected let me close this go transform and you see we got 872 so let me see maybe we can start right there so we can start animating so 72 let me just go out of this uh plate maybe you know shape and our uh, keyframe go maybe one second long no i don't think so one second maybe right there and we're gonna say you know 87 872 okay and also we need to select the keyframes right click go temporal interpolation out of bezier and the same thing we're gonna play with this make sure select it and maybe we're gonna just go this one as maybe also make sure it's, you know aligning and here always you will have a different effect okay let me close and play and see what we have nice the last thing we need to do is just make to let me sure make sure i have three seconds maybe and also we need to go and select make sure select it and go and maybe we can add the mask so let's click this uh you know square shape or square mask and then just move it with the mouse so you see when you hover over the the sh i mean the mask the mouse change to a little hand icon and also we need to maybe extend this maybe right there and also this one as well so not too far from the shape okay and so you know it's kind of like nice to be playing here a whole day okay and also we need to go mask further we need to say i need a one zero and if we play again so we will have this and the last thing we need to do is maybe change this and between the red and black and let me hit enter and play cool the text is a little bit uh, late so let me go make sure the text is selected and let me maybe move this a little bit right there and play again and see what we have nice i love it so you can just you know right click and export as motion graphic templates as i said just make sure to watch the first part so let's start with this one let me see how did i create this so let me open this i already have my composition the way i create this is you know go to essential graphics click this and you see as i mentioned last night we have this option called from file and i create this uh, file in photoshop so you can create an illustrator as well and you see this is what we have actually let me just move this to maybe right there and also i need to create another shape so let me go and pick the rectangle shape you know and let me just draw this maybe okay yeah and let me have the same color so the way as i said to change the colors you know go appearance and the edit panel so let me go and have the same color let me just pick this color and yep the fill and also we need to add the stroke so let me add this so same color that we have in this on 
you know, uh, logo, After Effects logo. And maybe we need to go three pixels thick and see what we have. Maybe, let me see. Of course, nice. Uh, the only thing we need to add is the text as well. So let me pick the selection tool, I mean the text tool. And let me call, maybe let me type, please subscribe for more. Okay, let me go and maybe say 20 pixels. I mean, yep. And also we need to maybe, and instead of having turn, we're gonna go regular. Yep, I love that. And also we need to add another text. So the way to create another text, let me just click in here, new item. Click text and you will see as well. So let me say, please uh, subscribe for my only in Naira Studio. Let me just type only in Naira Studio. Cool, and we might need to have a little bigger. Let me just maybe have 25. Just align, you know. And also we might need to go and, you know, check this a little bit right there and let me see okay and so what else i did is you know add a little shape behind it, this text so let me go make sure select it and go pick the shape rectangle tool let me just drag this size maybe change the color to white it's up to you you know and i'm gonna take the off the uh, stroke and also let me see actually let me put this maybe 30% opacity and yep and maybe we need to have this uh, under the uh, where else uh, under the Nera oh my premiere is I don't know if it's the problem with my premiere or for default this because sometimes I have a problem arranging this uh, you know the shapes so let's see as you see I have been having a lot of problem with this and Premiere, I don't know if it's my Premiere or is all the program, you see? It's kind of like I just want to, this is the white plate and this is the, uh, okay, but I don't know why I don't, I can't put the, okay, that, all right. For some reason, some Premiere is giving me a little headache. So the last thing is to animate this. So let me go and first we can animate the icon. So maybe go first frame. Select, make sure selected the icon. And you know, we got the X position, we got A08. So let me go to my effect control. And you know, the icon, make sure selected the icon and you see the position. So let me go and move maybe right there in other keyframe, go one second long. And you know what, just type A08 that, that we have. And so we will have it. Let me just right click, you know, temporal interpolation, out of busier. And the same, we're gonna play and make sure just to have a nice animation. So let me go and maybe move this up and maybe this down. Let me close and see, let me play. Nice, that's the way I create this. And also we need to go maybe with the plate. So let me go, so make sure it's selected and I need to select this and what else you need to do is maybe do the same with um, animation I mean the position so let me go as you see we got a55 so maybe go to my effect control let me go and close this transform and let me maybe move this you know right there at a keyframe actually you know what let me go and see when okay so we're gonna move this to here and go maybe one sec or half second long and we're gonna go and say 8.55 we have a guess I had I mean yep and then what else we need to do same thing you know right click temporal interpolation out of bezier and you know play with the same you know drop down this maybe this one up and this one maybe right there and let me close and see what we have. Nice. Okay, and the second thing is we need to go and just mask this. So let me make sure it's selected. And we go and add a mask. I already showed the 
how to add a mask in the last video as well so let me go and um, mark mask feather zero and also let me just move a little bit more right there okay and let's see uh, what we have is this so nice and we can do the same thing with the text so let me go and make sure select it go to maybe place on uh, subscribe so maybe we can have from here from right to left so let me go maybe when it finish okay so then we can start with the text so let me go make sure selected please subscribe and go and maybe go to uh, transform maybe and we're gonna go and move this so right there in our keyframe go maybe not a second long maybe half second and just move back you know where we have and also we need to right click i mean first select the keyframes go right click in temporal interpolation out of bezier and we're gonna play the same thing we need to play with you know the uh, graphics so let me go up here this way maybe right there and see what we have actually nice so the last thing we need to do is make sure to select it and we need to add a mask as well so make sure to pull this right there make sure we have a zero mask feather and you you will have it so make sure maybe just move a little bit in okay so let's see what we have nice only on era studio as well so we're gonna just make sure select it and we're gonna do the same so let me just make sure maybe we can start right there i mean actually the same of the other text so let me see let me just close this drop this down you know make sure you go transform and we're gonna play with this so let me just add a keyframe go the same length that we have in the other text right there and we gonna just uh you know actually you know what let me go back to here and move this to the left so let me just make sure it's out of the shape and we're gonna go and make sure out of keyframe actually it's already out of keyframe so let me just go right here and let me just say you know make sure it's pull in right there and also we need to select right click you know out of base here and we go and see make sure selected you know the same we're gonna do is have a nice smooth animation okay let me see as you know that that's the way i animate the only thing we need to do is make sure it's selected we can add a mask the same thing so let me just have in here and we're gonna go and say zero and that's it basically that's the way we have this but you know what we need to animate this shape as well so let me go and see when we finish right here we can start animating this white shape so let me select and also we need to maybe play and see go maybe you can scale but in this case i'm gonna uh, animate the position as well so let me see we got 857 so let me add a keyframe go maybe right there and when we just uh you know you know what and let me just go in here back again and let me move to maybe to the right side you know so just to have a you know a nice animation and let me go right here and let me just move back in okay and also we need to select right click you know out of busier and also we need to go make sure just to have a smooth animation you know okay and this one okay let me close and also we need to add a you know the mask same thing you know just to have you know maybe okay and let me just go zero feather and let's see what we have actually make sure to move a little bit and okay and see what we have nice so that's the way i create this basically you know it's it's uh, not taking long actually and i think in 25 minutes i create two templates i guess and let me see put this maybe up and play 
Okay, actually, yep. That's the way I create this, basically, you see? And also the lines up here. How did I create that? I, let me remember and let me just select and deselect and let me just pick this, uh, you know, the pen tool. Uh, you know, let me see what I did with some, I, maybe I want this line coming from this side. If you want coming from right, so you have to start from the right. If you want from the left, you have to start from the left. So let me see, let me see this one from your left to right. So let me just pick that and actually, you know what? Let me hit shift to have a nice uh, horizontal line. So, okay, right there. And so let me go and see, let me just say, you know, white maybe. And yep, maybe a little thicker or you can leave right there. And also we can have another so let me go maybe from here and then we can just maybe and right here hold it on shift maybe yeah and that's the way i have this actually let me see we can start animating this so let me make sure select this and we can go here maybe let me see if uh, selected yep it's selected let me close this go you know transform and we're gonna play with the uh, uncheck uniform scale. We're gonna play with the uh, scale. So let me just go with zero. And our keyframe go. I I mean I don't know 50 frames long, and we can go 100%. And see, and the same thing. We need to select. You know our base here. Go in here maybe. Let's see, and also let me play and see what we have. Yeah, it's a little bit, um, you know, slow, so we can just stretch the uh, keyframes. And also we need to go and see what we have. So we can just animate this one as well. So let me see, I think it's this one. So let me go to my effect control, drop this down, transform, you know, and check the um, uniform scale. And let me go 0% or zero frame, our keyframe, go maybe, right there and we'll just go 100 pixels and you know i always say 100 percent but it's a pixels in this case because it's now opacity so let me just select right click go out of this here and you know the same we need to drop this down you know the same way i did is this one play a little nice you know animation or a smooth animation let me just hit enter and see you know and maybe it's a little late let me just have right there and see what we have you see that's the way we can create this i think that's all for today hope you guys like it please subscribe to youtube follow us on facebook and twitter and also check out my youtube channel you know and also the page where you can download the uh, free uh, templates we made in After Effects and Premiere so you can start reusing. Okay, and see you next time.